you have been doing surveys wrong. As a result, you earn pennies and get screened out in 9 out of 10 surveys you attempt. I got so fed up with these screen outs that I decided to fight back. Over the past 3 months, I've spent over 200 hours training ChatGPT to think like a survey site. The end result? A survey completion machine that never rests. All you have to do is just copy my system and you can start draining money from survey sites while you sleep. No more screen outs, no more wasted time, just consistent cash. The survey site we're going to focus on is Swagbucks. It advertises itself as the easiest way to make money online. Take surveys, earn points, cash out. They claim you can make $5, $10, and even $20 just answering questions about your shopping habits. I created an account to test this out. The dashboard loads up. Under the answer buttons, there are a few surveys available for me. They don't use normal currency. They use what they're calling SB. And it just so happens that $1 is 100 SB. So this is $0 $0.1, $0 0.5, 0.15 small amounts but given i'm just clicking buttons around hey it's no big deal i start my first survey first question second question i'm clicking through investing my time then suddenly boom sorry this survey isn't a good fit for you looks like the researcher is looking for a very specific candidate no payment no partial credit nothing okay maybe that one wasn't a good match let me try some other one i am answering questions Happily going along. I'm like three minutes into the study. Boom. We're sorry. You don't qualify for the survey. I decide to try out the third survey. I keep going. This time around, for the first time, I go beyond question four. I'm getting my hopes high. But then, boom. I don't qualify for the survey. Ugh. I do this for the fourth, fifth, sixth. In total, I spent 90 minutes on swagbucks. Total earnings? Just a hundred SB, which converts to a dollar. And the thing that bothered me most is, if I don't qualify, why wait until I'm like 10 minutes in so that you tell me I don't qualify? Why not filter me from the word go? The sad truth is that survey companies like Swagbucks benefit from screening questions, hence the lack of filtering. Every qualification question you answer, your age, your income, your shopping habits, your brand preference, that's valuable demographics data. And when you get disqualified, you just give that information out for free. Most people get frustrated with this and they quit or they keep grinding for pennies. But what if we could rig the game back in our favor? However, before dealing with the screen out problem, I have a more pressing issue. To make the service worth my time, I need to increase the payout per survey. During my initial research on Reddit, I kept seeing people claiming they're getting surveys worth a dollar, three dollars, even sometimes up to five dollars. Yet on my profile, it was just two cents, 15 cents, 45 cents, and at most, at most, 60 cents. Same site, completely different opportunities. Turns out there's an invisible filter that most people never even think about your Swagbucks profile. The questions you answered when you signed up income level, household level, employment status. Most people just click through this randomly in 30 seconds just to get to the surveys. And that random profile is now deciding which surveys you even see. You looked into low-paying studies and you don't even know it. The solution? I decided to rebuild my profile using chat GPT. Here's the exact prompt I used. Create a survey profile that maximizes access to high-paying consumer surveys. Include income brackets, household composition, employment status, and purchasing habits that brands pay a premium to hear for. The outcome of using this chat GPT prompt was wild. I discovered brands are looking for people with full-time employment, household income between anywhere between $75,000 and $100,000, married, have kids, and are the primary purchasers of the family. Armed with this information, I went ahead and updated my Swagbucks profile. Within 24 hours, my dashboard transformed completely. Dollar surveys start showing up, 
all the way up to $2.75 and that 5 cent garbage disappeared completely. Same account, different reality. You're seeing better service. But there's a problem. You told Swagbucks you're married, you have kids, and you're making 85000 a year. Are you sure you can remember this even when the surveys ask you about your household income in question 47? In Swagbugs and other similar survey sites, one wrong question and you're flagged for inconsistency. That's where this next layer comes in. Your profile is optimized. You're seeing better surveys. But there's a second filter that you need to beat. Here's what happens. Survey asks, what's your household income? I say 75,000. I keep answering the questions. 10 minutes later, I get asked, how much do you spend monthly on groceries? I say $200. Boom, instant disqualification. Why? Because someone making 75K probably does not spend 200K on groceries. The survey catches the inconsistency. Your answer does not match your persona. This happens constantly. One wrong detail about your age, your job, your kids, your cars, and you are out. The time you spent, wasted. The data they collected, kept. These surveys are testing you across dozens of questions. Household income, number of children, their age, your job title, the car model, the streaming service you use. That is over 50 data points. And you need to remember all of them. Because if you get it wrong once, you are automatically disqualified. Let's say in one survey you say you have a full-time employment. Another survey you say you have part-time employment. You get disqualified automatically. Your brain is just not built for this. You're trying to remember fictional identities with perfect recall across multiple sessions, sometimes weeks apart. And the surveys, they're designed to catch you. The solution is to turn ChatGPT into your external memory. Here's what I did. I created a new project, called it Swagbucks Persona, and then used the following prompt to save all the information about my persona. You are my survey persona memory system. Store these details and answer any survey questions based on them. I then went ahead to my dashboard, survey profile, and took screenshots of everything. I then went ahead and saved this for referencing and use each time I want to answer questions. Then each time I find a survey question I'm not sure about, I just take a screenshot, copy it to chat GPT. It gives me the answer. I select the answer. No contradictions, no mental gymnastics, perfect, consistent answers across each and every survey. This strategy keeps you consistent, but you can go even further because consistency alone, that's defense. You need to start playing offense. By offense, I mean predicting exactly what the survey is looking for and then giving them the answer they want. You're being consistent. You're giving the same answers each and every time thanks to ChatGPT, but you're still getting screened out, although it's now a bit less frequently. What could be the problem? Here's what is happening. Every survey is hunting for a specific type of person. A baby product survey, they don't want to hear from 22-year-olds who don't have kids. A streaming survey questionnaire, they're looking for code cutters who subscribe to multiple platforms. Surveys about luxury cars, they want high earners with purchase intents, not broke college students doing window shopping. You're getting kicked out because you're giving honest answers. But surveys don't want honesty. They want their target demographics. The thing that makes this tricky is every survey has a different target audience. Here's the upgrade. We're going to tell ChatGPT to figure out what each survey actually wants and answer accordingly. To our prompt that has the persona details, we're basically going to add to the end, read each survey questions and infer what demographic they're targeting. Answer as that person while still respecting our persona. Watch what happens next. If your survey asks about whether you have a child or not, Church DPT recognizes that this is probably a survey that wants parents. It therefore says you're expecting a child. If the survey is about streaming services, it positions you as a code cutter with loads of subscriptions. The AI basically reads the room for you and gives the researcher exactly what they want. With this one change, you should now be completing 
9 out of 10 surveys successfully. Although you're not completing surveys easily, there's still one problem. At this point, you've got the system down. ChatGPT is reading every question, telling you exactly what the survey wants to hear, and you're breezing through surveys that used to screen you out in seconds. But there's still a problem. You are copy-pasting things, and this copy-pasting is legitimately slowing you down. If you're fast, maybe you're making $8 to $10 an hour. Better than before, but you still glued to your computer. You need to automate this fully. I promised I was going to show you exactly what to do to ensure ChatGPT does everything for you. While you sleep, the balance on your dashboard should be going up. You should basically be able to go and take a cup of coffee and come back to a completed survey. Yet, you're still here, clicking, pasting, coping. Sure, it's better than wasting 30 minutes only to be screened out, but it's not automation. If this is the final step, then we've just made service sites less painful and we haven't actually beaten them. So, what if ChatGPT could do everything for you? I mean, everything. The thinking and the clicking. Here's how to stop copy-pasting. In your browser, download ChatGPT Atlas. Go ahead and click download. Once downloaded, install it on your computer. ChatGPT Atlas is a browser that integrates ChatGPT, allowing you to use ChatGPT to answer all the questions. What you need to do next is look for your prompt, your persona prompt, whatever you'd saved it, whether it's in the Google Docs, wherever you'd saved it. Copy it, then add an instructions. Basically tell it, pick a fast survey and complete it based on the information above. Ensure you select agent mode. Once you've done that, press enter and watch ChatGPT do everything for you. It will basically move around, click on the first survey, answer everything for you. No coping, no pasting, no clicking. It completes the entire survey for you. The AI reads the survey questions, references your persona, thinks about what the survey wants, and fills in every question automatically. No coping, no pasting, no clicking. Here's the problem with ChatGPT Atlas. It's only on macOS, and it's a bit slow. What if I told you there's something even better? What's that? Perplexity Comet. It's available everywhere, including on your phone. And it's just like ChatGPT Atlas, but even faster. All you have to do is download the Comet browser and install it. Then open the browser, go into your Sogbox account and log in. Same thing. Click on the assistant, click on the service. The first thing you do is create a shortcut. Call it survey filler. Take the prompt, copy the prompt, then save it. Navigate to where you have your service, then call the survey filler and tell it, look for the highest thing survey on this page and answer it based on the prompt. And it will automatically start looking, clicking around. As you can see, it's pretty fast, almost double the speed of ChatGPT Atlas. Now you can go to bed, you can go make coffee, check in every 20 minutes to confirm this, the agent is still working. With this system, the AI does all the work and you get all the pay. At this point, you're now making $30 to $100 a week for a service site that used to pay you maybe $5 per screening. At this point, you're making $30 to $50 a week from survey sites that used to pay you maybe $5 before screening you out. But here's the question nobody asks. Why stop at just one account? At this point, you're running a single automated income stream. ChatGPT, Atlas, and Publixit Comet is filling surveys while you sleep. You're making $30 to $50 a week on autopilot. But here's the ceiling. One account equals one income stream. And Swagbucks, they limit how many surveys you can do per day. You hit the quota, the surveys dry up, you're done until tomorrow. If your goal is to make job replacing money, that's a problem. So what's the obvious next move? Just create more accounts, run five Swagbucks profiles, make five times the money, right, right, wrong. The second you try that, you're getting banned. Swagbuck tracks your browser fingerprint, your screen resolution, your installed phones, your time zone, even how your mouse moves. They also track your IP address. Two accounts from the same device and the same internet connection. Both accounts get flagged, permanently banned, zero payout. You're stuck on one account. Or 
at least that's what they want you to believe. Here's the actual scaling strategy. You don't create fake accounts. You run separate accounts legitimately, either from family members who give you permission or you spread across different survey platforms. But here's the catch. Each account needs to look like a completely different person from a different location. Two tools make this possible. The first is a fingerprint spoofing extension called Fingerprint Spoofer. Install this on both your ChatGPT Atlas and your Comet browser. What it allows you to do is it allows you to set different digital fingerprints, different screen res resolutions, different fonts, different time zones across each and every browser instance. Every account now looks unique. The second tool, this is the big one, residential progress. Get residential IPs from a service like NodeMarvin. NodeMarvin gives you real IP addresses from real homes in whatever city you want. To set up the proxy per browser window, you're going to use this plugin, Proxy Switcher and Manager. Now, here's where it gets real. Let's say you have five separate survey accounts. Could be five different family members on Swagbugs, or better yet, you have five different survey accounts from different companies. This could be Swagbugs, QME, Prime Opinions, or even branded surveys. Each one with a unique fingerprint, each one with a unique residential IP address. Let's say from each you make $30. For a total of five accounts, that is $150 per week. If you take that into four months, that is $600 per month from the same platform that was paying you five cents and screening you out endlessly. And here's the best part. Once you set it up, ChatGPT can run all five accounts simultaneously. You are not doing anything. You wake up, check your balance, cash out, case closed. Everything I just showed you, that's actually the baby version. I have built something even crazier. I've encoded a fully automated system using browser base that runs multiple survey sites simultaneously, 24-7 with zero interventions. No copy pasting, no Atlas manual setup, just pure passive income while you sleep. If you want that breakdown, check out this video on discount automation as an appetizer and subscribe so you don't miss out when the full automation video drops. Every single tool I've used in this tutorial, including a link to NodeMarvin, the different extensions we've been using, all of them are in the description below.